It's episode 4 of the Rangers career mode here on Football Manager 2023. And we've got Falker and then AS Monaco. Couldn't really get two different sort of games back to back. But we have to deal with it. We currently sit top of the league. Livy win and they join us and Celtic on 6 points. But they have played that extra game. And it's Ismail Goncalves. But they've also played us. So you know, it's not like that's a pish feat getting to the top of the league. But we do have Falker here. We're 4-9. Um, I'm going to play a much changed team to be honest because we've got we've got the visit of Monaco in three days so, so there's no point of me absolutely killing ourselves here you know and, and, and just sending it but you know again I don't want to play two pitch for a team where Falkirk think they've got half a sniff so we'll see how this is going to go here's our team McCrory, King, Sands, Davies, Yilmaz, Wright, McCann, Arfield, Tillman, Lovely, Sakala and my problem is with this, right? You used to be able to like select your reserves, like, like be able to pick from on the main screen, but you can't. Um, Jonathan Fitzpatrick says, "Get our field out of the team." He has a face, mate. That has to that has to go for something. But you know, it's a very young team, and also there's just a sprinkle of experience, even though the experience is shit. But Falker, you know, that's a pretty bad team. I mean, they've James Nisbet in, in the camp position. So realistically, what can they do? Falkirk with a long throw into the box. King clears it. I was almost bottling it there because I honestly thought they might have been able to. But Lovely surely has to find Fashion Sakala. It's deflected. Sakala, first time effort. In to the top right hand corner of the net. And that's what we want. That's what you need. He runs over. The fact that there's like a million more Falkirk fans in this stadium than Rangers fans is a concern. But Lovely is deflected. And it actually, you know what? It was a perfect deflection. It just lobbed up and landed for him. Now, to Lovelace, this seems like a pretty good partnership, I mean, it's not, <laughs> ah, yeah, does it, man, because that is a pish ball, I mean, it's not quite, um, Kolak and Morelos, but Arfield out to Tillman, and Malik Tillman across the face of the goal, Lovelace is tipped over, he's a whisker away, and Rangers are beginning to turn the screw, we're tightening it, Nisbet launches a ball in, I tell you what, man, Falkirk, on the offensive, but now we're on the offensive because Fashion Sakali, I mean, surely can outpace Mackey. Mackey just absolutely gets stuck in the Sakala there. It's only 1 0. Very reminiscent of the time we were, we were only beating Dundee 1 0 in real life there. And then Falker all of a sudden just get four shots out of nowhere. 15 minutes ago, not much has happened. I mean, it's 1 0. It's going to finish 1 0 in a pretty even contest. Like, I know it's a weakened team for us, but it's still a bit of a disgrace. And it's a red card for Aaron Splain. On Flash and Sakala, I mean, it didn't even look that bad, but the refs deemed it to be that bad. And as we go into the 90th minute, I doubt there's going to be a goal. It looks like this is going to finish 1-0 to Rangers. Here at Ibrox, and, you know, we haven't lost all season, but it's not a good result. Before we play Monaco, we've got Airdrie taking on Celtic in the Premier Sports Cup. So this is in the second round at the Perry Cars Arena. Um, will it go well? I recently took on Hibs with Airdrie and uh, we get pumped. So interesting to see how that game goes. But yeah, we'll find that score out after this one. But Monaco, this is the team that played in the Cup there. And it was pretty, it was pretty bad against Falkirk. So we're going to have to make some... Major changes, and then we'll dive into the game. But Monaco beat it PSV, where we scraped two draws against Union St. Gilles, and then what was it, 11 10 or something on penalties? The longest penalty shoot you'll ever get, man. But we have to pick the team. Champions League music is playing, that means only one thing. We're getting pumped, because that's all Rangers did in real life in the Champions League get pumped. And now it's translating over to the league. But we do have Kevin Folland and Ben Yedder. Up front, be interested to see if we can keep those two. I'm not seeing it happening. But we want the group stages, right? We want to make signings. And in order to make signings in January, and even in this first window, man, we need to be guaranteed that Champions League money. And if we don't get that, then it's going to be hard to make signings. But with that European money, yeah, hopefully we can do it. I mean, Gary Cahill doesn't start. Um, don't really know why, to be honest. But we're 15 minutes in, and it looks like a pretty shite affair so far. And probably the shittest first half of football, no highlights, no key highlights, a 0.21 XG and then uh, Monaco have a 0.37, so Rangers, we're going to need to change this, Morelos looks fairly unhappy, Kolak's got no fitness, 
Red fans booked. I mean, what, I mean, what do they even do? Like, well, how do I even attempt to change this? Like, who, who do you bring in? Like, who do you bring on Sakala? For Morelos, but Morelos' fitness is alright. 60th minute, there's been no goals, and uh, I mean, we've got three bookings. Morelos still the angry emoji face, so I don't understand what's happening with him, man. And now he's booked to add to it. Right, we're subbing him off because he's fucking shy. I'm sick of this guy playing pish. Morelos, just a, just think the guy was great, loved the guy, but see, in this real life, the guy's just not up to it. It's a fucking sad day at the office, but it's true. He's just shite, and Tillman, like, why is Tillman even start? Why is Tillman so deep? We'll, we'll switch, we'll do that. Because I kind of just want a fucking goal, like, if I'm being honest. I'm not so sure that we're going to get that. And Matondo isn't really fucking... Offering me that, to be honest, and uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do that because cool. Wait, fuck! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who's the other midfielder we can bring on? John Lundstrom, big scouse John, on son. That's what happened there. We'll get wet. Twenty-two minutes to go, and he has happening. Eight minutes to go, and we finally get our first highlight of the game. Jibs Tavity or throws the ball to Tillman Goldson. To Lundstrom, it's through to Fashion Sakala, and he skipped past him, and it's straight at Nubil, and that, that's, I mean, wait, 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 two minutes for that, like, why the fuck is that being shown? Connor Goldson seems tired, replaced with Cahill, sure, why not, Gary Cahill coming on here for an appearance, we've made all these sort of substitutions, and what, what's happened, we've got four minutes added on, and we're getting a highlight, and it's Gary Cahill. Who launches a ball forward, somehow finds Fashion Sakala, who finds Red Fan Yilmaz, who then Ryan Jack swings at nothing, Ben Yedder, danger man. It's played through, he finds him bowl, a lot of attacking talent, Red Fan Yilmaz takes him out, and he's been sent off. Wait, what? I just said Edgar Davids has been sent off? He retired about fucking 20 years ago. What's that all about? Unless the referee's called Edgar Davids and it's just had a complete meltdown in the game, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's not good. Gilmas sent off, but we've drew 0-0. I mean, it's not the worst result, I guess. We could have been beat, like, 3-0 at home by Monaco, but... I think we would have had half a chance. We needed to, like, win here, and we didn't. I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell them we're disappointed. Um, a lot of them are nervous, self-assured, confident, composed... How can Yilmaz be composed? Mate, you're a fucking pish. And on that note, I'll date for episode four. Alright, uh, who else is going through? Red Star Belgrade's beaten Finnis Faros. Helsinki drew with Tra Transbonzor. And, uh, yep, everyone commenting. I mean, we've got a few tweets. Bobby Monroe, we barely created anything. Isabel Moore, that was so dull. George Dawson, what's he, what's he say? We George, eh? Yeah, defence was good. The less said about the rest of the team, the better, though. I mean, you know, they're all tweeting about who the fuck I will. Look at that, Celtics 1-2-1. One, one. But anyway, I'll do it for episode 4. Next to it, we've got the away tie. We're in Monaco, the Principality. Will we win? Check it out. Till then, peace.